In this training video, we'll show you how to create multiple response variables. A multiple response variable is one where the respondent is allowed to check all that apply. If you've uploaded your dataset from an SPSS file, and it was already set up as a multi-response variable, MarketSite will handle it automatically. If you need to define a multi-response variable from individual variables, this video will show you how to do that. In our example, we're going to work with a set of questions about cell phone features. Each of these questions in the survey asks the simple question, do you have this feature? The possible responses were yes or no. We're going to combine these 12 variables into one multi-response variable to make it easier to analyze this data. We start by clicking on the new item and then select multi-response variable. We'll call this new variable cell phone features dash MRV. Next, we'll choose the category where it will appear on the variable list page. We'll put it in the cell phone features category. The next step is to define this MRV. We'll do that by selecting the 12 variables with data about cell phone features. To find those variables, I select the appropriate category here. Next, I expand the variables to see the codes. I'll need to specify above which values to include in the MRV. Since we want to include all the yes answers, we'll keep this setting exactly the way it is to count only the values that are equal to one, which is our yes answer. Next, we drag the 12 questions from left to right to include them in the MRV. I can change the order by dragging and dropping, but I'll leave them in this order. That's all it takes to define an MRV. I can now click OK to save this new variable. Back on the variables page, I can see the new variable, cell phone features MRV, and I can see all the values here. As you can see, each yes answer in the predecessor variable has become a value in the MRV. To see the summary statistics for this new variable, just right click on the name. You can see right away how multi-response variables are different from other variables, and that one response can be included in multiple groups. You can see that the mentions add up to a number much greater than the sample size, and that these percentages add up to more than 100%. That is because the respondents to this survey were allowed to select all that apply, not just one option. Because of this unique feature of multiple response or multi-punch questions, the calculations and the statistical significance tests that MarketSite performs on these variables will also be different. That concludes this training video on creating multiple response variables.